Oh, lovely frosty morning. Race wheels are on. Circuit coffee, Sunday. <laughs> Guys, welcome back to another episode of Zero to 60. It's time to go and take the Dick Ace brakes. Dick Ace brakes for their first test drive. So I actually fitted them two days ago. I bled them up yesterday. Uh, the bleeding process was a pain. I think, I don't know why, but it took two bleeds to get a decent pedal feel. The first time I bled them, I must have just got air in the system. The first time I bled them, if you left the car for half an hour, the pedal would then go really soft and you'd have to pump it up. Let's just see what it does now. Yeah, it feels about normal. Feels like my car. Okay, I think we're getting there. Um, yeah, I did the, I did a manual bleed, then I did the ISTA bleed, and then I did the ISTA bleed again. But on that, that third bleed, the, the second ISTA bleed, still air came out. So hopefully they're fine. If, if I haven't bled them properly and we have a crash, at least the video will be good. Um, but it's time to take it for a drive. Let's see if the car still starts. We're good. All right. You guys are going to come with me, get initial impressions see what these brakes are like. So, I don't know if anybody picked up on it, but when I installed the Chinese brakes on my car a bit over a year ago, we had these grand plat... Okay, it takes a lot more brake pressure, but the pads are not bedded in yet. The pads are not bedded in yet. Whew. I probably shouldn't film whilst I'm driving the car in the tight space of the shed. Anyway, like I said, if we crash, it'll make a good video. Um, we had these grand plans of filming brake test videos last year um, and measuring the stopping distance and the improvements. We actually went out and there is a video that's still live on the channel where we tested the standard brakes. What we learned from that is the standard brakes are limited at braking from 100 kilometers an hour the standard brakes are limited by the tires that's it so it doesn't matter how good your brakes are you need super sticky tires to need to improve over the standard brakes i hope that makes sense basically the brakes weren't the problem it was the tires um where i did and I've, I've said this continually over the last 12 months where i've noticed the chinese brakes are better is when i'm trying to brake from 200 kilometers an hour. Now I'm not gonna go and do that right now, um, but what I will do is basically share my opinion on how these things feel. What I'm hoping, because these have different pads to what's in mine, and I, I know the caliper, the, I mean, the workings of the caliper is probably pretty similar to the brakes that are on my car. Even though the outer design is different, I think the inner workings are the same. But I, I just wanna see what these pads are like. Make sure we don't have any problems, and then we can check those bleed nipples for leaks when we get back. <sighs> Sorry, I'm a bit all over the place with the talking here. I'm sort of trying to pay attention to the, the way the pedal feels. Okay, I'm gonna get... Bottom down. I'm just gonna get off of our block, and to bed them in, I'm just gonna do... Well, to start... Ooh, bit of a bit of a clunking together. I'm gonna start with basically just stopping aggressively from 60 kilometers an hour and just try and scrape off that outer top surface on the pads. That's what we'll try and do. Bit of, bit of the oh. oh my God. I just heard that rear actuator click. I wish I knew it was faulty. I would have changed it when I had the door card off yesterday. All right, driving across the yard, the, the the initial bite is not there in the brakes. But again, they're not bedded in. Let's see if we can make a difference. So we'll get up to 60. And, oh God, okay. Something is now rubbing. Guess we better work out what that is. <laughs> Guys, I'm not sure, but I think Near the pads rubbing a bit. I think when I just braked really hard then, the power steering pump has just sucked up a load of air. So this thing must be low on power steering fluid. Yeah. Wow. So 
they cause enough g-force to cause you to lose power steering fluid well lose power steering pressure oh that's bad okay shit that might affect this video however all right we'll do one more we'll do one more hard break from 60. Hear it whining. Oh, it's bad. That's so bad. Okay. Okay, we can't brake hard. Brakes are good though. Brakes feel good. All right, I'm gonna go put some petrol in this. Oh my God, I'm st I don't know how bad this is for the power steering pump. They get air in them all the time. I'm not gonna do any more hard brakes like that. However, I mean, obviously that's safe to say. The brakes are working pretty well. Oh my God. Okay, we're getting some rubbing noises, which I'm gonna bet a million dollars is the heat shield on that side. I don't think I trimmed enough away. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, you literally can't brake. Actually, what I might do. I'm sort of on the road here, but I'll just go lock to lock quickly. Trying to get the air out. Maybe that's why BMW added electric power steering to LCI models. Actually, I don't think they did that on the petrols, did they? All right, we got the air out. All right, I'll put some fuel in. Okay, I just thought I'd check a power steering fluid. You can see it's all aerated, but it's, you know, I mean, it's, it's lower than it should be, but it's not like ridiculously low. Damn. Brakes work alright. Attempt two. Guys, I went and topped the power steering fluid up. Um, it's still a bit whiny. Not as bad though, okay. Um, So initial thoughts, the, the bite is better than the pads, than the brakes that are on my car, 100%. Um, feels quite good to be fair. I might. Got no cowl on, so these turbos, they don't really make any boosts, they make a lot of noise. We'll stick to the normal test track. Look, I'm. I know they feel good. They feel better than my brakes. They do. But I'm going to keep bending them in a little bit and give you guys a summary soon. Oh, shit. Can't actually pull the right then. A little ABS action. Do a full stop. looks very erratic to anyone that's out and about. Oh, there is smoke. I see smoke. The brakes are smoking. All right, there's probably just all the oil and that coming off of them. I don't know if the camera is picking the smoke up, but they are smoking. All right, I'm just going to get them properly bed in. And I'll give you guys an update in a sec. I think we're looking good though. Nice. Guys, these are really good. 
that was not a lot of brake pressure uh, and you can hear the tires are we're maxing the tires out with not a lot of brake pressure um, yeah the pedal feels mm, I don't know why it feels better than mine it must just be the pads it must just be the pads reacting to contact with the rotors faster than my pads do it does look a bit weird to anyone that's watching this car randomly aggressively break all over the place um, pretty happy with that. I guess the, the... I mean, mine drive fine. But these, be these are better. Even though the rotors are smaller. I was kind of concerned that the smaller rotor was going to reduce the amount of leverage the, the brakes have, which they will. Um, this feels good. It feels more like standard brakes. Where I, mine are a little bit spongy initially. I've always said that, but I was expecting that because we have a bigger a bigger piston to mass cylinder ratio with these with these brakes. Sorry, it's always hard trying to sound clever when you're trying to film and pay attention to what a car's doing with a, a setup change. Okay, we're nearly doing the speed limit, and we're going to hard brake to a stop. It's good. It's really not, it's not taking a lot of brake pressure. Um, which is what mine's like. I kind of want to do a spin and stop from 200. This car's got turbo smart bobs, I think. I think. And another hard brake. Not to lock the wheels up. Guys, they feel really good. All right, let me get back to the shed. We'll see if anything's on fire. Whatever was making the rubbing noise has stopped. So maybe it was just the way the pad was sitting on the rotor. I don't know, but we're not getting any rubbing noises now. Um, yeah, I think it's just a matter of making sure these bleed nipples are all good. I'll see you guys when we're back at the shed. Well, I'm back. Um, I've actually been back for a few minutes, just sort of trying to think about this and make sure I'm not missing anything from that short test drive. Um, it, they feel really good. I'm, to my understanding, the only thing that's different is the pads. But maybe they are a different design. The pedal feels so much better than mine. Um, we have lost some rubber caps. Now, I don't know if that's due to heat, but they did have caps on the brake bleeders. They are now gone from that first test drive. So that's not a great design. Um, but yeah, we've bedded the rotors in. Guys, it got pretty hot. Um, basically, yeah, after I got fuel and filmed that other little section, those caps are still there. Um, I was just sort of hooning around. So accelerating hard, braking hard, accelerating hard, braking hard. And it, they were really good. I mean, Everything looks sweet. There was obviously that rubbing noise on the first part of the test drive that has stopped. Um, yeah, this one hasn't lost the cap. It's bloody annoying. Um, I wonder if I didn't pop it on properly. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Might have to see if they sell those caps separately. Um, but yeah, the way the brakes feel are really, really good. No issues there at all. Um, This is tough because I, I, I've been so worried about recommending Chinese brakes because if something goes wrong, somebody's going to hurt themselves. Mine have not gone wrong. I have no leaks, no issues, no nothing with mine, but fitment was terrible. And just the way that they were sold was not great. Um, and then the way they dealt with the problems were not great it looks like all of the issues are gone. So the brake lines on these are much better than what was on my kit. Um, they actually look really nice, these brake lines. In fact, I'm gonna see if I can get a set of these brake lines to go on my car. Um, fitment's been spot on. I think these pads are better. Uh, I do actually have a set of these pads. They sent me a set of these pads when they messed up my brake fitment last year as an apology. Um, please keep in mind that I think that only happened because of the YouTube channel. You might not get that service if you weren't a YouTuber. 
Um, but they do try and fix problems, but it's hard work to fix problems. So keep that in mind if you want to buy a set. Um, and I think if you're going to buy a set, buy them direct. Try not to get too involved with resellers. Um, yeah, and I think it's the resellers which caused a lot of the issues last time, I think. That's where I'm going to leave it. I won't have a link to buy these today, but I will have a link to the website. So the, I basically, all of my problems with Diecase disappeared when I started speaking to upper management. And the website that I contact them through is full Chinese. Uh, I'll put a link to that website, and you will be able to contact them, and you'll have to say straight up, I want the brakes that Andrew from Zero to 60 has, um, or else they probably won't understand what you're saying, because they're not, they're not there to sell to the Western world. They are there to wholesale their products to other Chinese manufacturers. I hope that makes sense. If you could think about how all the distribution goes on with these products. Um, but I'll, I'll let the guy know that I'll put a link to his main website, or her website. I shouldn't assume many genders, should I? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll put a link to the website below. Um, and yeah, just make sure that you get the same set that I've got. You will be safe whether you get these with the 355mm rotors or the 380mm rotors. I know they're going to be fine. Um, personally, these ones being 355, they feel more powerful than my brakes. Um, driving them around. Again, that could be the pads, but right now the cars have the same fluids. Mine's just got bigger discs and these feel better. So again, it could be the pads, but don't feel you need to put huge brakes on to get good brakes. It's more of a, um, it's more of a looks thing. Pretty happy with that. That felt really good. Um, I will keep putting it through its paces for the next week. We are starting this build. Um, so there's going to be a lot of stuff doing to it. We're going to be thrashing it, hooning it around, and seeing how fast we can make it. It's going to be an exciting month for this car. It really is. All right, guys. I'm going to drink my coffee, edit this, and get ready to go to circuit and coffee tomorrow because we're going racing. Guys, thank you for watching. We'll catch you tomorrow.